suburban sentinel here plying the byways of the burbs and today I'm headed to and through Newtown Connecticut which I'm sure most of you know is the town in which the Sandy Hook school massacre took place a little less than a year ago today I'm making this video because there are dark forces at work who plan on taking full advantage of the anniversary of this tragedy. Now, I can say with a high degree of confidence that for the most part, the people of the town of Newtown just want to be left alone especially on this one-year anniversary. However, there are certain well-funded forces who are not going to allow that to happen. I have intimate knowledge of this. Uh, I am no longer a Newtown resident. In fact, I haven't lived here in quite a few years. But I do have a good number of friends who are from Newtown or are plugged into the local politics and the gossip. Former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who I will just refer to as the pipsqueak, is spending a ton of money around the one year anniversary of the school shooting. His anti-gun lobbying forces, and they are funded through a variety of groups, are going to be making a big deal out of the school shooting anniversary. Pipsqueak and company are running a series of heartstrings at commemorating the shooting, and they are using this as a platform for renewing gun control efforts in the United States. And because the Obama administration has nothing else they can do right, I'm sure that Obama and America's clown Biden will be jumping all over this by design and using this to try for another round serious and debilitating gun controls against the population. My guess is that we'll be seeing these ads all the time from between now and New Year's and that starting the first of the year there will be a big political push to open the gun control debate in Congress once again. I've even heard talk that Pipsqueak and company are trying or have bought ad time during the Super Bowl. So this is no time to let your guard down. Make sure you stay after your representatives in Congress. Here in Connecticut, it's a lost cause. But my hope is that everywhere else this new effort can be stopped. And I'm coming up on the center of town here. I figure I'll go spend a few dollars locally on some gifts and such for the holidays and then make my way down into the next town to see my boys over at Victorinox USA. Those are the Swiss Army knife people. See, we're coming up on the giant flagpoles. Hard to imagine. The uh, shootings were almost a year ago. So I'm sure all of you have seen the downtown area of quaint little Newtown in the media ad nauseum from last year. So, thanks for watching. This is the Suburban Sentinel. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you like what you see. Questions and enlightening comments are 
always welcome. Be safe, everybody.